Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, if you are in the market for a new Tesla, here are a few things that you might want to think about or consider as a different driving experience coming from a ICE car, which is an internal combustion engine car. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and review 10 things that you should be mindful of before you purchase a new Tesla. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Alright guys, welcome back. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because I was actually with a friend coming back from dinner and I, we were talking about Teslas in general and what got me into uh, my Model 3 performance and things like that. And one of the things I told her was I actually never drove a Tesla before purchasing one. So the first time I ever drove a Tesla was when I bought my 21 Model 3 performance and that was the first time I ever s drove it. I had sat in one at the showroom, but I, again, never driven one. And so now I've got roughly about 19,000, almost 20,000 miles, which, by the way, a separate video will be coming up on the 20,000 mile mark. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't. But so what I wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and review 10 things that I have come to know about the Teslas, especially it being an EV, and how it creates a different driving experience coming from a normal combustion engine car. All right, so the first thing that's going to be is going to be the very obvious. This being an EV, it is an electric vehicle, so you no longer need to put gas in the car. And as high as the gas prices are nowadays, anyone that owns an EV doesn't have to worry about it. But if you're in the market for an EV and you're still driving a gas car, you're probably just cringing at the 525, 550, a dollar a gallon. Dollar, 550 per gallon fee. Uh, and just waiting for your EV to come through. And if you haven't ordered an EV yet, this is why you're probably watching a video maybe, and you maybe wanna get one. So you can save a lot of money on gas. So you never have to put gas in the car. All you do is you come home, you uh, take your charger, you plug it in and the vehicle charges. The next morning, you're ready to go to start your day and your vehicle is fully charged and ready to go. So there's no more gas. All you gotta do is worry about charging the battery, which depending on which model you go with, you know, you've got 250 plus mile of range, which is plenty of range. And if you have range anxiety, go check out my other videos. I talk about all the trips that I take in this car and things like that and how it's totally practical and uh, reasonable to do. So that is the first thing. The second thing is going to be, there is no key for a Tesla. All there is is basically your phone and that acts as a key. So you no longer have to uh, deal with physical keys or keychains or, or things like that. Um, and if you wanted to do the actual Tesla key card, if you don't want to have your phone, you can use that key, which is like a credit card basically. But again, uh, there is no physical key for the for the vehicle. So use your phone. Most of us all have our smartphones on anyways, whether it's an Apple or an Android or whatever. But that serves as your key. You can keep it in your pocket if you want. You don't have to take it out. As you approach the vehicle, depending on which Tesla you have, it'll go ahead and unlock it with the Model X, it'll actually open the door for you. A lot of cool features, but you no longer have to deal with keys at all. Third thing is going to be, there is no engine. So all you've got is a motor, and depending on which model you go with, you might have dual motors. The upcoming models have tri-motors, which means it's got three motors, but there is no actual engine, which, it's awesome because you don't have to do a whole lot with it, but it does come with one small minor, minor issue, which actually my friend pointed out yesterday, is because it's so quiet, you literally feel every little thing on the road. Meaning, if there's a lot of gravel, rocks, and those type of things on the road, as you drive over it, you kind of hear it hitting the bottom of your car, which if you are a car enthusiast, you're probably like, oh God, I hope it doesn't damage my paint, I hope it doesn't damage my car. But if you are not, and you're just a regular car owner, you will hear a lot of those pebbles kind of hitting the bottom of your car, which can sometimes be annoying. Otherwise, it's so quiet that you literally are driving around without any noise from the engine, which again, it's a motor, so yeah. The fourth thing is going to be, there is absolutely no maintenance to do outside of your typical tire rotation. And within the Tesla community, we kind of joke about it, putting in your washer fluid for your windshield wipers. That is it. 
that is the only maintenance you have to do regular maintenance so as compared to a ice car you've got your oil changes you've got lubrication that you have to do every what 15 30,000 miles depending on which car you have um, you, you know they have their scheduled maintenance that that are set up at certain intervals 5,000 10,000 15,000 miles or whatever it might be where a Tesla you don't have to worry about that all you do is you do a tire rotation between four to six thousand miles put in the washer fluid and that is it the only other time you have to maintenance do maintenance is of course if, if something goes wrong with it or you need uh, mechanical help or, or whatever it might be but that's again with any car knock on wood I haven't had a whole lot of issues with my Tesla but with anything that is um, a, a machine as you can imagine there could be something that might go wrong and you can go ahead and service it which on that note if you do have to service it a lot of times they can actually send in home uh, service provider where they come out to your house or to your work uh, and and get the service done on your car so you don't actually have to even take it in to a service center to get it serviced but again depending on what you actually need for example tire rotation I do it uh, through the mobile service so they actually do come out to my house uh, and in my driveway they rotate my tires and they lock up the car and leave and I don't have to do anything so that is one cool perk about having a Tesla. Number five is going to be the driving experience with regen braking and of course you've got your typical uh, gas pedal or acceleration pedal and then you've got your brake pedal but as you're driving uh, what you have to do is think of it as a go-kart if you've ever been in a go-kart the minute you let go of the accelerator the car basically starts to slow down and stop so what it actually does is the motor starts to stop the car it actually helps to recharge the battery while it does that so could you use your brake pedal of course you can but you don't have to and you quickly get into a habit of actually just using the pedal the accelerator pedal to go and stop so depending on for example if you're coming to a stoplight and you let go of the the pedal itself the car will slow down and again you'll get a feel of how quickly it stops and what it does but once you get used to it you really don't have to use your brakes and the car itself charges through regenerative braking Number six, well, I can't really use my fingers because I'm holding the camera the other one, but number six uh, is going to be that the, the cars themselves have instant torque, and it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of it. So the minute you hit the accelerator, the car literally takes off like a rocket. I don't care which model you have, whether you have a standard model, long range model, or the performance model, all of them have instant torque, and they're really, really, really fast. Of course, as you can imagine, if you go with the performance, it's going to go faster versus the standard version. But for the fact that you hit the pedal, and because it's electric motor, it's got instant torque, and it will take off. Depending on which model you have, it could be anywhere between 0 to 60 in like 4 or 4.5 seconds to the fastest one, which is 1.9 seconds with the Tesla Model S Plaid. That is absolutely insane. Moving on to number seven. Uh, one thing that you want to be mindful of is if you own a Tesla, you really should not be taking it to a regular car wash, meaning those $3 car washes that have the huge brushes and noodles coming down and hitting your car and making it feel like it's doing a wonderful job and cleaning your car as best as it can. Yeah, no, don't do that because it actually will scratch the paint. So again, if you do care about your car and you want to take care of it, you absolutely have to go to a touchless car wash for all Teslas. Uh, it's actually in their instruction manual as well. They do recommend that you do not take it to a normal car wash that has those bristles and noodles and brushes and things like that. So touchless car wash only. Depending on which area you're in, it could range anywhere from five, seven dollars to all the way up to twenty, twenty-five dollars, depending on which package you go with and how, you know, which what you want to basically, what kind of wash you want to get. But in the, some areas, they can be more expensive than your regular two or three dollar car wash that you drive into. So be mindful of that. Number eight. This is a really cool feature, which is of course the Tesla app. So if you've got a smartphone, which hopefully you do, if you're buying a Tesla, you download the app, and uh, you literally can control everything from it. Uh, you can lock it, unlock it. If you want to do it manually, you can cl control the climate control. You can control the heat if you want to heat it or or things like that. You can summon it if you've got the package for FSD, and um, I mean, there's so many things that you literally can do from your app. It's like a remote control, where you typically don't have that in normal cars. If you do, through some security systems, you have um, limitations to what you can do. Generally, you can start it, stop it, unlock it, put the windows down, things like that, but most of them, they don't give you the same functionality as the Tesla does. A lot of the higher new end um, BMWs, Audis, um, Mercedes, things like that. They're now starting to get into some of that functionality, but Tesla, in my opinion, still hands down 
has the most complex, most advanced technology in its app, uh, of course, paired to the car that you drive. So that is another feature. Moving on to number nine, which is going to be the autopilot feature. As standard, autopilot comes on all Teslas, but if you want the FSD, which is an additional subscription, you can go ahead and also purchase that as well. And one of the things that I absolutely love about it is when I'm going on a trip uh, or a long drive or even actually coming back from the city, which from Chicago to Naperville, it's about 45 minute drive, 50 minute drive. Uh, and sometimes the traffic can literally be bumper to bumper. If you put on autopilot, you literally can just sit back. Obviously you gotta pay attention. And yes, you, sh you should have your hands on the steering wheel, but the car itself, basically drives you from on-ramp to on off-ramp and there's so many advances happening in the software itself where eventually in a couple of years or so fingers crossed uh, it actually would be able to drive itself from one destination to another so that is absolutely awesome that you can have this feature in a Tesla where in a normal car there might be some features such as uh, cruise control and things like that but as far as actual self-driving there's not a whole lot of cars out there, normal cars that are capable of doing that. So Tesla is light years, in my opinion, ahead of any other manufacturer that are now starting to get into this space. I am not talking, before you go comment, I'm not talking about those cars that have the massive domes outside that are self-driving in California and other places. I'm talking about a normal consumer car that you and I can drive, that can drive automatically on its own with minimal to no interactions. Just don't go to the comment section and bash me on that. Simple. Last but not least is going to be your car is going to get a lot of attention. People are very curious about what Teslas are. They're still fairly new in the market as much as now they're becoming more of a norm. But certain areas that you drive to, uh, I, I personally have gone to that I don't see a lot of Teslas. So it certainly does grab a lot of attention. People will literally turn their heads and look at your car because they're like, what in the world is that? Or I don't know if they're thinking it's ugly or they're thinking, holy crap, that looks sweet. One of the two. Either way, it gets a lot of attention. I've actually had people stop me at grocery stores and be like, oh, is that a Tesla? And I'm like, yeah. And I've actually educated people on how an EV works because they will literally come into the car and be like, oh, can I take a look? And so I will tell them basically everything about it, the screen, the features, everything. And so there are a lot of people that still don't own one or have never seen one or are just curious about how EVs work as compared to normal cars, which again, you're probably here for the same reason. But even in real life, meaning people will approach you and will probably ask you about your car. So be ready for that. I absolutely love it. I welcome it just because if I can educate one or two people on what that means and I can inspire them to go buy one, then I feel like I've done my part as a Tesla owner to have them enter the space and support the green movement. So that's me. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other tips, if you are a current Tesla owner and you've got some tips that maybe I missed on, go down in the comment section, let me know and share it with the rest of the community on what they can look forward to in owning a Tesla. But hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.